Hello, traders. I would like to welcome you to this um, to this webinar today. How are you guys doing? Is everyone okay? Let's bring the chat. Let's bring the chat box as well, guys. I'm typing to make sure I type test hello to make sure everyone can uh, can read it. If you can reply back, so I know that. Uh, you can communicate with me. So, Can you hear me? Someone says no voice. Right now, okay, thank you so much. Guys, if you spot any unusual uh, problem with the voice or with the picture, please uh, immediately just put it on the chat box below because unfortunately I'm not in the position to know uh, if, uh, if there is a problem with the voice. All right, so. Let's move on. I was saying that this content is for direct information only and is not intend to provide uh, any trading or investment advice or personal recommendation and any information relating to past performance of an investment does not necessarily guarantee and future performance. Okay. So for those who are here for first time, allow me just simply to introduce myself I'm coming from, I can say, an academic background. I used to be um, a physics uh, teacher and maths. So I introduced to, to investing and trading pretty much 10 years ago. I used to live in Australia back then. And uh, it was a great opportunity for me. It was a blessing, I have to say, to get involved with this uh, with this amazing industry. So when it comes to investing, I keep a long term uh, bias in the markets. And currently, it's been many years, and actually since 2016, that I'm investing in the cryptocurrency because I find them an attractive uh, investment. I also actively intraday the markets and swing trading as well on the daily charts and also when it comes to stock market i i'm very more into the tech stocks uh, and the automotive rather than the pharmaceutical let's say so i also buy and hold there and here at admiral some um, uh, i work full time here of course and i'm trading educator and analyst so just before we start, if you allow me to just tell you in, uh, not even in a couple of minutes, I will try to make it in 45 seconds. <laughs> Here about uh, Admirals, about our broker. We are a Forex and a CFD broker. We offer thousands and thousands of financial instruments to satisfy every single trader and investor. Uh, whatever, whichever is your language, uh, our uh, support team can um, successively uh, help you and guide you with anything you need in your uh, in your native language. And we have multiple licenses. Some of them are the SISEC in Cyprus, uh, in the UK the FCA, in Estonia the EFSA, in Australia the ASIC, in Canada in South Africa. Also, it's uh, great for intraday traders, I would say, 
because we try to keep the spreads as minimal as possible so you guys be able to trade uh, on a better market, uh, on a on a better price, market price, okay? You can access now, for now, you can access our uh, products through MetaTrader platform, 75 I usually use, but also you can download it on your smartphone. And soon the native trading platform, it's going to be uh, released and I'll make available to you. Plus, we're going to go on, and we are, we are, transforming let's say also to the trading view and that's another great um great news so far now uh now yes i'm trying to move this what's on for today's in our agenda we're going to talk about analyzing trades we're going to talk about trend following setups and market orders surprisingly really surprisingly i noticed that majority of traders they find it super extremely hard to be confident in a trend following setup and when they enter in a trend following setup they tend to have some let's say they enter uh they they buy if the market is doing like this and it comes down they buy here they put their stop loss somewhere there and they are in the train and of course most of the time they lose because the market before it gives them one to one it's just reverses whereas they have to be focused and buy somewhere here with some uh, analysis i will explain you how to do it and then they have to target to aim for this area of resistance to get out of the trade and the opposite happens in a downtrend uh yes that's a good idea to change the color in a downtrend or maybe you want something brighter to try to enter somewhere in this area and just get out here rather than sell there with a stop loss here and wait for the market to give you three four hundred pips especially if it's a daily chart that's a big issue if you do this on a on a lower time frame there is another way to uh to attack the markets and if you want i'll go through that as well so at this point, I would really like to uh, share the, the MetaTrader. Just bear with me one second. Let's share the MetaTrader, guys. So we will start talking actually uh, on trades. So, guys, please let me know if everyone can see my screen and if the if the chart is uh, clearly visible to everyone and it's not blurry. In the morning, we had a problem with the with the chart. Uh, it's not foggy or blurry, right? It's clear. Please confirm. Thank you, Forty. Clear, Dobrin. Yes. Thank you, guys. So, let's assume that we have now. I'm currently showing you the the euro against the Canadian dollar. All right. And on purpose, I picked up this one because I would like to address something on the chart. There are many traders. We used to trade back then for those who are long enough with me on the on the live trading. We used to trade back then this consolidation and then the market broke to the downside and we had this bottoming at this area. This bottom here. 
And then we had this impulse move to the upside with a higher high. Now, at that stage, I will zoom in. The market is clearly making, if I can hide this, uh, this area, that will be great. So at this stage here, the market made a clear higher high. Do you guys see that? Yes, everyone can see that. Great. So the market from this consolidation that we could address it with this uh, horizontal resistance and support finally broke to the upside and surprisingly we observe some strong price action candlestick patterns now you guys see when the market was moving from this bottom to this high it also came with force when it was trading from this bearish engulfing to this bottom low, it came with very, very small candles. It looks like it was, let's put it that way, whatever left in the move, just thrown down here and it took three sessions for the market to come and create this and, uh, and, and get rejected at this support. Then we do see this move to the upside, a nice higher high, a rejection here, a bullish engulfing, and that was a valid signal for traders to understand that this market is showing that it wants to go higher. So, and I, I saw many traders, unfortunately, they bought here, they bought here, and they put their stop loss there or even there, but why? Why do we do that? Why do traders do that? Traders do that because of fear not to lose on a clear setup. They don't accept, unfortunately, that this setup, it's a high probability setup that can lead to a good trade. And guys, I will give you a tip on this webinar. If you want to buy here, and put your stop loss there, ask yourself, why do you want to buy after you confirm a reversal price action? Why don't you just buy as low as possible somewhere here and you buy high at this point here? Maybe you want to confirm. Theo, what are you talking about? Are you for real? We want to confirm that buyers are in control and then we want to buy and great, fantastic, I'm with you. But why do we need to put our stop loss down there or even worse here? We confirmed that buyers are in control. We have this bullish engulfing now. And the market, at any time, it can start pushing higher and higher and higher. All right, most, li most likely. When you want to use the last swings in the market to place your stop losses in an uptrend, I will definitely encourage you to, to be more aggressive with your entries, like Place a limit order in the middle of this move here if you want to put your stop loss over there. Place a, place a buy limit order somewhere here and put your stop loss there. Why? Because, ladies and gentlemen, because traders, if the market, it will trade all the way down and it will come to this area of support, then inevitably it will... And if it's going to penetrate this area and it's going to even close below this area, 
it's going to show that sellers most likely are in control of this market. So why don't I, anyhow, I'm going to risk on a trade. Why don't I risk and get filled in a price as low as possible? So I buy low and I have the opportunity to sell high. And let's say, I think you lost the sound for a second. And, and let's say that um, you didn't want to do that and it's not that how you want to trade. And I understand it, no issue with that, no problem with that. Let's say you want to confirm the buyers. You confirm the bullish engulfing. Why then don't you buy here as you decided to buy and put your stop loss there? What's wrong with that? So you, you have a highest probability if the market is going to make a higher high and it's go it's going to go at an area of resistance at the least at the least in the worst case scenario to give you one to one we want to get into two to one and three to one trades but uh let's say at the least to get into one to one do you guys understand this do you have any questions Please let me know. Is it uh, is it clear to everyone? Yes, no, maybe. Clear, clear, yes. Okay, yes. Thank you so much. Let's move on. What's the other significant with this one? And then I will tell you why traders they have this they they face this problem. Body, I don't know why, because I buy at the return to order block. Okay, that's... Uh, you mean you buy with limit orders? You buy with buy limit orders? Fody, may I ask you? Now, we confirmed... We confirmed this higher high here. What do we want to do? Traders, they have the tendency to believe that after the development of the move, then the move is over. They just don't understand that majority of uh, big firms and uh, cor big corporations that they're going to trade and they're going to take position tradings on the weekly charts and on monthly charts, they are holding trades for uh, so long time. And the strong resistance in the market where liquidation may come, it's either here or either there. So why should someone incorrectly assume there is this resistance here where the market clearly, this is a very minor resistance, only a buyer came. You want to see strong resistance. Where is strong resistance? Strong resistance, and what is a strong resistance? It's an area where the market find it difficult from either the buyer or the seller, let's say about the strong resistance, not area, but the strong resistance, it's where the buyers, they found so much resistance to keep their buying activity and the sellers, they took control and they push lower, like here or like there at this point. Why this is a strong resistance? Because the buyers see how aggressive they were coming higher and higher. When they came here, they found it extremely, extremely difficult. It was impossible to keep their buying activity in place and sellers, they came and they changed their direction. And they left that print on the chart. They left that mark that we can use and explain it as a resistance. So why do I want to start looking for reversals 
at this point here. First thing traders, they do this. Um, sorry, guys, let me just fix something with my microphone here. Uh -huh. Okay, so why do they do that? Because they believe that they missed the trade and that's all what the market offered. And now they think, I know what is about to happen. That's the only reason traders, and I tell you for sure, after all my 10, 11 years experience as an actively trader and coach and mentor for traders, that this impulse behavior of the traders to have the tendency to sell here because they do believe that there is a, a strong liquidation zone, it what, it, it what blocks them from really see and understand the market as it's uh, unfold in front of them. If I move on one, but let's let's assume for a second, like we thought it's a strong resistance here, although it broke by more than two candles on the upside, and that's make it invalid, okay, from technical analysis. Let's assume that we sold there or you sold there. You took a sell position. At this point, stop loss there. Let's move on. The market, okay, took the stop loss. It didn't even give a chance to the trader. All right, it took down, then it took up, false break here. So it was a real, uh, it was a real rejection. If we move forward, what I would like you to see, guys, is this area here. You see, this area is the most recent swing in the market. Unfortunately, traders, and I hope from today onwards, not you but other traders who are not listening to us now or they won't listen to the recording webinar later they don't pay attention to the most recent information the market show us and which is the most recent information from the market is this swing here is this high that's the most recent information. This is belong to the very past. This is the very past. This is the very past. The most recent information is this point here and this low here. Let's say it's a bit hard to identify, okay, which one is the hard low? It's this one or this one, but from technical analysis perspective, we wanna take the lowest point and Pretty much it's this one here. So the market came out of this area. It put this hammer, this long dodgy tail, let's say if uh, you don't like this hammer, this uh, rejection, whatever it is. And from this point, it just pushed higher. Now, Question for you. If you would have bought here, where have you be placed your stop loss? Below the one, below the two, below the three, or below the four? Can you please type one, two, three, or four? One, three, one, one, two, three. Interesting. 
most of the participants uh, they say one uh, then it's two and three pretty much equally now let's examine it both if you guys gonna go for one you are risking 80 pips give it or take with a spread 80 pips and by the time the price it's gonna retest if it's going to manage to retest if this uptrend it's going to last and it's going to manage to retest this sub this resistance you are well into two to one reward to risk if you take the first stop loss this one here if you go with a more conservative stop loss and you put your stop loss there or there and you buy here you are risking 250 pips or 350 pips. In 370, I will just make it 350 to be easy. Either 300 and 250 or 350 pips. Now, what you have to really understand is how the markets, the Forex markets operate by default, okay? The Forex market, they operate in a way that they move certain amount of pips, give it or take, on a daily basis. On some, that's why we take the average of almost one month. That's 40, one month is about 20 uh, trading days, 22 trading days. Um, let's say three trading weeks. 14 trades, uh, sorry, 14 candles. And we have the average true range, the ATR. And at this point here, the average true range, it says that about 140 pips is on average how much this market moves on a daily basis. So how to use this information and how to use it to validate if our entry and stop loss distance, they make sense for this market. Because let me help you with something, traders. Sometimes we have the best of the best technical pattern appear at the right spot, at the right time, at the right market conditions, everything is perfectly, but the way we can participate in the market as retail traders based on reward and risk and stop loss um, ratio, it's not favorable for the trade in our favor. So why to take a trade if it's not going to be on a highest probability on my side to make money? Why don't I just simply open what I call a play account? demo or with uh, 20 bucks 50 bucks couple of hundred bucks there and i just press the button whenever i feel i want to trade but i know i use uh, my analysis skills and i use my strategy and i understand that it's not in my favor uh, at that point so when we see this information that the ATR shows that about 140 pips. If I buy here and I have my stop loss there, it's about 70 pips. If I'm right, if I'm right, that's the daily chart. I have increased probability that I can make two to one by the, within one day, let's say, or within two days. This one took way more than, it took about one week to, make this uh the profit okay but imagine when you're going to have your stop loss on 350 pips on a market that on average moves 140 pips you're going to need more time for the trade to play out and i'm talking only about just to break even now Imagine to sorry to make one to one to go to 
want one, you need 350 pips. You need the price to, to pass through this resistor. So from a technical analysis perspective, it's a really high probability trade in all the way, in a trend formation, in the candles formation, strong impulse candle, in a rejection at a very strong point. I believe there is also an indication of the 50% or something. Pretty much about 50%, maybe it's 49% fib retracement. It has all the, the great indications to be a great trade. But if we don't understand the risk reward ratio and how in the Forex market works and how to understand what comes with a high probability in a trade, then unfortunately, we're going to get into the good trades. But because we don't understand the other side, which it's, the, the, it's not only the technical analysis, it's also the risk management. And risk management, it's not, um, I believe in my opinion, very, very misleading and misunderstanding. Um, they tell you, they teach you, they put out on the, on the social media, on YouTube channels and everywhere about how to, to put 1% and don't risk more than 1% or 2% or 5%, whatever it's a number, and uh, go for 2 to 1, don't go for 1 to 1, or, and all this stuff. Guys, you must learn on each currency pair how this market operates. And that's what I'm teaching you now. If you understand this, then you're going to have the rest piece of the puzzle missing to help you move onwards with your trading career and become a skillful and a successful trader by knowing what's my probabilities. If I enter here and I put my stop loss there or there or there, regardless, or there or there or even here, what's my probabilities to, if the, if the price is gonna move in my favor, how can I get benefit for that? And how can I make, uh, high reward to risk ratio, if I don't understand this and I just blindly based on fear, ladies and gentlemen, place uh, my stop loss in the market, which of course that will determine my trading size, then I will end up being in a great trade, winning trades, but I won't be able to move forward, make this trader because I will make half to one, I will close the trade. But when I take a loss, I will lose one full size it can't work like that all right so i'm challenging you to pay attention to um if you don't want to use the atr just simply do it like this most of the times as you see i don't have the atr on the screen i just go and i measure each candle let's say uh, that's 100 pips this one it was 250 this one it was about 160, this one 100, 100 pips, this one 180. I'll say, okay, we have 100, 200, the middle is 150. That's what I will just simply very, very basic without indicator. I will just measure the, the size of each candle, the last five candles, and I'll say, okay, that's my ATR, give it or take. All right, so we buy here and the market makes a double uh, double top. Does it mean that I have a reversal pattern? Many traders, they start selling here. What if you sell here, but if you don't see the market instantly moving away from this area, it means the, sell, the selling pressure, it's not there. Why to fight it? That's a buyer's zone. We are in an uptrend. We are in a pause, if you want, of an uptrend. We don't have any clue for a downtrend. A downtrend means this double bottom here will break below this neckline and 
make a new law because now that's our reference. When we break below this, then we have a lower low. But now we only have equal highs and we only have higher low. So why on earth I want to sell? This one here, it's screaming more for buying opportunities. Now the market is making higher high and it comes at this area here, close to the support, to the resistance. It's pushing lower. And then all this rejection happens. Even if some traders, they start shorting this market here. But if you have the desire to trend with a trend, to trade with a trend, I will encourage you to use some trend filters like the moving averages. Just use a couple of moving averages. Let's say put the, well, I don't know, put the 10 uh, with the blue and uh, put, put the 21, let's say, to take the one uh, trading week and uh, let's use the red color, something like this. If you are a trend for, if you want to trade with a trend, when you see this, when you see these moving averages converging with each other and moving on the same direction, converging with the price, sorry, and moving on the same direction, that will not let you, do you guys see that immediately you see a different, totally different picture on your chart? So at this point here, you see the moving averages, they, they act as a dynamic support, the price, it's push away from that. Then the market comes all the way here. Moving averages are still the fast above the slow. This double bottom here can be used for buying opportunities if you decided to, or, and we just see the market climb higher and higher and higher. Then there is another signal, this one here, very small, tiny. Now you see the ATR change to about 100 pips, but if we're gonna enter here, we have only 50 pips from the stop loss. We buy here, rejection, stop loss there, another good trade. And the market, it's on the go, it's on the run. All right, now it's going sideways and here is the first clue of uh, a new low up to this support. That's our reference. Market touches here. It goes back to this low. Maybe we have taken some losing trades here because we don't know if that uh, was ending up as a uh, consolidation and not a downtrend. All right. Uh, it's not only winning trades. All the time around the end of the trend, we're going to take losing trades, but the winners, they're going to uh, by far cover all the losing trades, okay, if we stick to the, to the activity. Another way here, higher, high, higher, low. And there we are now at this point here. At this support, moving averages pointed higher. If we're gonna have a reversal price action here, what does it mean? Maybe the market can push higher and come all the way to the upside to reach us this area. All right. Guys, please question. Uh, this webinar, I didn't want to make it in uh, terms of uh, with PowerPoint and show you from the, from the textbook. I would like to walk you through the live charts to to see also how would you react if you had this if you see this on a if i show you this picture on a powerpoint and then uh, you see what's happened after this this hammer price action then it will be ah yeah of course it makes sense but what happened if you are there what how do you react if you are here what do you do if this is your current market condition what do you do are you trade? Are you scared? Are you going to um, sell? Are you going to buy? Are you going to stay on site? And 
that's that's how I would like you to to go th through learning to through life market examples when um, when you see the price action that it's a reversal but you don't have the information after to train your brain to the uncertainty of what's going to happen next after the price action because that's one of the best ways for you to learn faster and move forward um, and move forward faster. Guys, at this point, it's important and I left it for the end. All right, so stay with me for a second. I would like you to mark down this date. Uh, many of you, you already have uh, subscribed here in two days and one hour from now. I will have the privilege and honor to host another Market Talk famous trader interview. This time it's going to be David Cooley. David Cooling, it's um, it's a professional forex trader and a co-founder of the Quantum Trading. And I'm telling you, if you watched Anna Schooling and Steve Nisson, uh, a fantastic, fabulous webinar. This is going to be another huge surprise. And I will encourage every single one of you to participate. It's a free webinar for, uh, for I believe, for admirals, uh, for all of admirals uh, clients. And you're going to learn a lot. Uh, David, it's, um, it's a great, great, great trader. He has a lot of things to tell you, to explain you about the markets, about uh, volume analysis, about many aspects of uh, the development of a trader and, um, and a successful, with a successful trading attitude and trading system. So I will definitely, definitely believe that you're going to make this uh, time available. And for me, when you're going to come to that life interview in two days it's like you make a gift to yourself you are a trader you want to make it in this uh, in this game in this business and we try to bring the right people in front of you and trust me all the questions and the way i'm interviewing each one of the successful trader it's with the outcome for you to get what you need to get out of this interview, to develop yourself and to add on in your trading uh, journey. So ladies and gentlemen, again, it was a privilege and honor to uh, host this webinar. Thank you so much for your participation. I really look forward to see you on the Market Talks with David Pulling on Thursday, actually two days and one hour from now. Thank you so much and happy trading. Bye-bye. Thank you.